Hey there, I am Shomil. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Chess King. So let's begin. We will play as White. Today I will show you the Queen's Gambit. So White begins the game by the Queen's pawn opening. Black does the same. But then we offered a trading of pawns. If black leaves, then we can simply push forward this pawn and gain some control over the center. But if black takes, we simply push forward this pawn so that we can put some pressure on this pawn via this bishop. So black moves this pawn to protect this pawn. Then we do the move of pushing this pawn forward by two squares. Now if black gets greedy and takes this pawn then his this pawn is gone. But if he moves this pawn forward to do some pop to protect this pawn then it is a blunder let me show you how after white takes black takes back and then we move our queen to put some pressure on this rook on white black has only one effective way of protecting this rook and that is by sacrificing this knight so after he moves this knight we take this knight with our queen and that is a check and we have put a fork on the king and the rook. So in order to protect both the king and the rook he will move this bishop right there and by doing so we cannot eat this rook because the queen is here. So we move this queen right to this square. And by doing this, we put the rook and the queen in the same line and that is of a huge advantage. But in this position, black might also choose not to protect this pawn. He might choose to develop his knight. Now if he does that, then we will simply grab this pawn with our bishop and by doing so we have a strong force in the center this is known as the queen's gambit accepted line now if he brings out his bishop to attack the queen then we can simply bring out our knight now let's see the queen's gambit declined line in it Black plays this move and by doing so he adds a defender to this pawn. But that is a great defense. In here he has created a pawn chain and he controls a lot of space in the center but that has a weakness. This bishop cannot move and is stuck right there. And in the beginning you don't want that. So let's make a use of it. We move this knight forward and put some pressure on this pawn. Black will move this pawn to add more defense and also put some one to this square. Now, white bishops are very effective in early game. So, we will bring out this dark squared bishop and pin this knight on the queen. Now, this allows us to freely move up this square, this pawn. And if black moves this pawn or that pawn or this knight, let's see what happens. Let's say he moves this knight. We also bring out our other knight to put some support 
and the fireworks really begins. This is all about controlling in the center. So that is all about the Queen's Gambit. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel.